The Foreign Language Association of Virginia provides an opportunity to share innovative teaching, technology, research, and student success strategies, and present your ideas to your peers at the FLAVA conference. Before you can present, you must submit a proposal with your ideas to the committee. This video is to help streamline the application process. The information section at the beginning of the form describes what types of topics can be addressed through these workshops, such as unique uses of technology and supporting student learning. There are also four different presentation formats which take place at different times. Pay special attention to the different categories of presentations, individual or group presentations, panel discussions, short workshops, or in-depth workshops. Each has its own purpose and description. Make sure to select the format with the correct length and date. As stated in the information section of the proposal form, proposals will be evaluated on clarity, completeness, engagement, and relevance to the topic. Keep these criteria in mind while you create your proposal. Now, the first step to every good proposal lies in the title. The title should be short and contain keywords to highlight not only the topic as a whole, but also the subtopics. Make these keywords grab the attention of the audience. In my proposal about a workshop on how to write proposals, I would title my proposal, Proposals. Short, concise, and powerful. Next comes the abstract. The abstract should be a 50-word summary about what the audience members will take away from your proposed meeting. These 50 words should be exciting. These should be the 50 words you want to advertise your proposal. For my proposal, my abstract statement would read, Blended learning is generally thought to be only for classroom use. In this session, attendees will see how this learning process can apply to professional development, for IT professionals, as well as for teachers. The audience will participate in various steps from start to finish. The abstract here briefly describes the session and gives reasonings for its acceptance. The final stage of a proposal is the session description. This should encompass the purpose of the session while touching on the relevance, value, and impact the proposal will have on the target audience. The session description is intended to be longer than the other sections, up to 150 words. The more thorough your description is, the more likely a committee is to approve of your ideas. For my description, I will write, Attendees will be participants in a blended learning professional development workshop on how to develop active blending learning professional development activities. Participants on site will be guided through the steps used for successful blended learning and will put these steps into practice. Three modes of communication, which I'm about to discuss, will be a part of the session. The session leader will engage the audience using the presentation mode. As part of the workshop within the presentation, attendees will review materials using the interpretive mode. Discussions about the various steps of blended learning used will be intermingled throughout the presentation, integrating the interpersonal mode. In the end, participants will brainstorm, individually or in small groups, the development of a full-fledged blended learning professional development series in their respective areas. And there you go. After completing these sections, the remaining parts of the form are simple. Fill out the language of the presentation, the intended audience, the focus of the presentation, and the TELL correlations, as well as information about yourself. This information includes the presenter's name, email, address, your title, and your employer. After you have completed this, read a disclaimer about attending the FLAVA conference and agree to it. And congratulations, you just wrote and submitted a proposal.